Santa Maria. I think he said something about a spicy crap. <laughs> I heard the word jalapeno, so that's what I'm gonna guess. Inside well, the ring, Slick goes for the collar and elbow and gets double leg -like takedown right to the camera. Marcus, I gotta ask, what brings you out here? Spreading a good word is what he's like to call it, but uh, you know, as you can tell, the past couple matches I've had, for some reason he wanted to go ahead and come, come out, so I'm actually going to come and check him out. I do remember two weeks ago when I was here when you were in the tag match with Bouncer against Joey Vincent and Sean Blaze, I do remember that the good referee Joseph Christian Slick did make his presence known at ringside, so is this kind of your way of offering a receipt as it were? You can put it like that. I mean, you know, I don't know what his business was to get in my match so to even make his match, but... Uh, I got a pretty good idea of what business he might have. I actually had a chance to talk to the good reverend. Be cool! And I think it has something to do with something that you own. Something I own? Yeah, it's, it's, it's around your waist. Yeah, I figured that much, but I mean, you know, who wants a shot? I mean, honestly. Now I have a question. Isn't this a is this a tag tournament match? So what is this? Semifinals, quarterfinals? We are in a semifinal match on the tag, so maybe maybe the good reverend and big brother Pit Vicious should be focusing on those tag titles rather than putting his nose in your business there, Spotlight. Yeah, I would definitely say so, because I mean, you know, you mean no, no sense of being free. Handle your business first, and then, you know, whenever you want a shot, go ahead and come at me. Then again, with the good reverend representing the Pearly Greeks Ministries, God knows that more gold equals more money for the ministry, and he strikes me as the type always on the lookout for a little bit of extra handouts. Yeah, that sounds about right. And I mean, <laughs> that sounds about right, but I mean, you know, like I said, I mean, he can go ahead and want it all he wants. All he has to do is step up and try to take it. I guarantee you. Vicious inside of the ring now with Luis Diamante. Hey, and Joey the Snake wants in. Wolfpack tag out. Hangover 3 in theaters. I'm trying to get a subscription. Wolfpack Ohio? Yeah. Arriba! Well, guys, it's it's good to see uh, Brother Pit Vicious back in the in the ring tonight. If you guys remember last week, uh, Reverend Joseph Christian Slick told us that Brother Pit was on some missionary work in Africa and apparently had encountered a case of explosive diarrhea. So hopefully that's uh, past him. And he doesn't pass anything yeah, right we, now, we don't so, need so, so to now. speak, so to speak. We, we don't need any more of the uh, defecation in the defecation nation. Brother Pitt down, no. Joey Size no. splash. Standing splash there on Pitt Vicious by Joey the Snake. Off the ropes, coming back. And a second splash takes down, keeps down Brother Pitt, I should say. Two count by referee Clemens there. Come on, brother. Why you choose? What is Tag, tag made to Luis Diamante as the fans are taunting. As the fans are taunting. Referee Slick with the chance of we're all sinners. Lombardi, okay. Anyways, inside of the ring here, it made Arm laugh. That's what I was aiming for. Run! I am not exactly sure what to what to call that, but Brother Pitt on the mat and Luis Diamante starting the clap with Brother Pitt's own hand. Arm bar there by Luis Diamante, and you'll notice something here for Luis. Very smart strategy. Center ring right here so that Pit Vicious can't get near any ropes. And if you think about it, it makes sense because if he's over by his corner where Joey the Snake is, Joey the Snake could help out. But Pit Vicious would be in the vicinity of ropes over there. Whereas center ring right there, Pit Vicious has no ropes anywhere near him, and he actually has to expend the energy to fight him out of the hole. This will, oh, 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 
mistake from uh, Brother Pit Vicious to attempt to throw four forearms at Luis Diamante. It's Death by Diamante. I think yeah, he's going to be healed over here. Now a variation of a variation of the full Nelson stretch here using the using one of the legs. I think he's trying to get the other leg up. Luis doing his own running commentary from the ring. Having, having a little bit of problem stretching Brother Pitt back far enough to lock in that hole completely. What Jake Clemens needs to make sure is that his shoulders aren't down, though. By his, I mean Luis's. I think he's playing chiropractor tonight. Now into the body scissors shades of Joe Stecker there. I'm not. Brother Pitt dragging the whole load over to his corner. Impressive arms. show of strength here by Brother Pitt Vicious. Oh. And into the cross arm breaker. Okay, now that is very Mexican. No, that was very Mexican. I'm gonna get it. You wanna brawl too? I'm gonna get hit in the nuts like my name was Jake Clemens. And I'm gonna show the luck and you're gonna fuck because I got God behind me. Yeah, but does he have talent on loan from God? That did not work. Alright. Yeah, this is not working out for the good reference. Well, at least he's getting his exercise in. Five minutes gone by in this match. Five minutes. Two rolls. I'm knocking you down. So. He actually moved Joey there, but it didn't knock him down. And then Joey turns his attention to Brother Pitt and slick quickly on the attack. Looks like Pitt, Pitt fell into the depths of hell over there. Yeah, but his distraction was enough. Big suplex by Slick on the on Joey the Snake. Hey Dish, you still with us? Oh, I'm definitely over here. What Just are you watching. making? What are you making so far, a Joe of uh, Reverend Slick's involvement here, finally being able to turn the tide on the Diamante brothers? Well, I think like was mentioned earlier, involving himself in other issues with other wrestlers, and they're they've advanced pretty far in this tag team tournament for a shot at our tag team titles, and I think something finally switched on, and they realize how close they are to losing this opportunity. I think the Reverend Slick is finally realizing that these tag titles could bring just as much fame and fortune to the Pearly Gates as potentially maybe going after the spotlight might. And the tag titles are immediately in his sight line here with them being in the semifinals. Um, good brother Orm Anderson, if you could be so kind to of enlighten us here. Do you happen to remember who both of these teams beat in the first round of the tournament? I'd have to look at the archives. I've been so busy these last couple of weeks with everything going on, and you know, of course, I had to have Eli Thomas down my throat wanting a shot. I know one of the team. I know in the match that um. I do know that the match that, the, that Reverend Slick and Pit Vicious won. I know Bruiser Schmidt was one of the participants. I don't remember who his tag partner was. Okay, so that's how the bro brother Pit Vit. Let's try this again in English. Huh? Yes, I need more Coca Cola. I don't think Jake Clemens understood a word of that, Luis. I think he got the intent, though. Uh, do you want to piss off Luis Diamante near you? Four! 
No, sir. Smart move now by the pearly gates as they finally isolated Joey the Snake. Weber and Slick appears to be T-bowing. And guys, just not to jump the gun, but can you imagine this? If the Pearly Gates Ministry manages to advance and win this tournament, they get a shot against the Fornication Nation. The Pearly Gates Ministry versus the Fornication Nation. What a class of a clash of ideologies. series of forms. Now a big splash into the cover. Joey the Snake realizing that realizing the weight involved with Brother Pit Vicious and the speed as well. You'll notice earlier it was the Los Diamantes working the midsection of Pit Vicious and now Brother Pit is returning the favor. Inverted atomic drop. Knee lift to the midsection there by Joey the Snake. Irish whip off of the ropes. And a big clothesline takes Pit Vicious down. Brother Pit Vicious, excuse me. As we have hit the 10 minute mark of this contest. Only two. And this has definitely been a rough and tumble match for both of these teams. One thing that we don't see very often here in real action pro wrestling is brother Pit Vicious on the defensive. That's true. And he he has spent. Oh, good lord! Stereo forearm, stereo kicks. Oh, God! I hope he hasn't had anything to eat yet. Or that diarrhea comes back. Yeah, seriously. A dish some of us have eaten. Really? Yeah, especially after those two dollar two for one dollar dogs. Delicious, by the way, and available over at the bar. Oh my. Yeah, that's right. I can plug two. I got mine. I got mine. Both pit vicious brother pit out to the floor. Brother Pitt is still the legal man here. Back in the ring. Reverend Slick needs to be careful. Marcus Knight is like right there. Ooh. Oh, ow! Oh, back to the depths of hell. Is the good reverend bounces off of the canvas here. No, I'm sorry. Me or you? You, sir. You. Posture is very important. Hold your breath. He's a reverend. Ooh. Well, at least I think nice Luis thinks he can do better. Was there a tag mate there, referee? No, I don't know what's going on. A little lumbar for you. Oh. oh, that was right to the small of the back. Oh, we got this. I believe, um, I believe, as fellow Puerto Rican Eddie Kingston would say, God bleep unnecessary. The referee tried to hit him with that Bible, and I think he went flying. What was that noise, though? Oh, I know. It looks like Joey the Snake has delivered the Reverend. What the heck? What are you doing? What is this? Come on, what is this? Bring the bell. Really? Really? I'm looking for him. Oh, did you hit me? No, no, no. He hit me. Come on. He hit me. You hit me. Keith, you might want to make the announcement. Ring the bell. Jake. Why? Your winners by disqualification, the Pearly Gate Ministries, Brother Pitt Vicious and Reverend J.C. Slick.